50th anniversary of the Grinch, restored to his original length tomorrow at 7 Central. Now at five, bargain hunt. The turkey's not even cold yet, but shoppers are storming stores all in search of a deal. Parade protection. We have an exclusive look at the extensive security measures New York's finest use to keep millions safe during the celebration. The annual tradition, big excitement and even bigger crowds as New Yorkers, the tri-state and the nation give thanks. News 4 New York at five starts right now. We begin tonight with a rough Thanksgiving in one New Jersey town. Good evening. I'm Stacy Bell. Hi there. I'm Stephen Holt. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm in for David Ushery tonight. Here's what's causing the headaches in that town. A water main break in Newton in Sussex County. Water gushing into the street and it's left thousands of homes with bone dry faucets. That means no showers and a tough time making Thanksgiving dinner. News 4's Michael George is in Newton tonight. Michael, has there been any progress getting things repaired there? They're still working on it, Stacy. Now, this couldn't have happened at a worse time. Just as turkeys were going in the oven, everyone in town lost water. Now, tonight, crews still working to repair that water main break. This had the makings of a holiday disaster until neighbors started pitching in to help each other. A Thanksgiving surprise for the 7,000 residents of Newton, New Jersey. A 16-inch water main break left the whole town without water. This morning when I woke up to brush my teeth, Nothing. Nothing. The worst part, it happened right as everyone is preparing Thanksgiving dinner. Vanessa Smith has to cook dinner for eight. I have guests from out of town, and I'm making my turkey and everything, the traditional meal, and no water. So it makes it very difficult to get my meal completed. As workers dig their way to the source of the break, city officials tell us fixing this won't be easy. Be patient. We're working hard, and... Um, Hopefully it's gonna be repaired real soon. This is gonna take some time. Yes, this is a this will be an all-day project. The people of Newton could be angry. Instead, they came together. Firefighters left their families on the holiday to fill buckets of water for residents in need. We'll be here all night if you need us. Thank you. Nice. Public works crews have been working since 7 a.m. to repair the break. We all had plans for food and football and other things, and but you know, we're, we're grateful that we have a, a great team on, on staff. As neighbors came to the firehouse to fill up their buckets and jugs, what we heard from them wasn't frustration. Thank God, right? Yeah. They were thankful. We're thankful enough that we got these guys in town and they're doing what they can to help us out. A Thanksgiving inconvenience reminding people what Thanksgiving is all about. You're not going to let it ruin your Thanksgiving? No, no, not at all. This is one Thanksgiving we'll never forget. And the work continues tonight. The hope is they can get the water back on for these 7,000 residents late tonight. We're live in Newton. Michael George, News 4 New York. All right, Michael, thank you. Now to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And keeping everyone safe was no easy task. But New York's finest, they were up to the challenge. More than 3,000 officers, eight bomb sniffing dogs, and 82 sanitation trucks packed with sand as barriers. Just part of the security measures. News Force Mark Santia joining us from Bryant Park this evening with an exclusive look behind the scenes. Mark. And Stefan, it was quite a sight behind the scenes. NYPD security unprecedented. Today's parade, very safe, thanks to the watchful eye of thousands of New York's finest. In the air, on the ground, the NYPD blanketed the parade route for the first time using sanitation trucks to close off side streets, ensuring every visitor was protected. We got to do everything we can to make sure that and we keep people safe, not only keep people safe, but make people feel safe. In an exclusive walk and talk along the route with News 4, Commissioner O'Neill and Chief Terry Monahan talked about the NYPD's role in keeping the city safe. From the marathon to presidential candidates election night to today's parade. Happy Thanksgiving. This is something they train for and plan for, something they're thankful to do, even though it means spending time away from their families to keep other people's families safe. To be here and be in charge of this parade today, it's absolutely, it, it's awesome. You know, to have my thousands of cops out here working, millions of people out here enjoying the day, beautiful weather, very cooperative for us today. So it's, a, it's really, it's an honor. It, it's just outright honor for me to be here today. Extra NYPD protections at a time when extremists overseas called the parade a, quote, excellent target. Nevertheless, the parade went off without a hitch.
But today was no finish line for the NYPD. As you can see all across town, the holidays are here. There's several markets around the city. Now, next week, you have the tree lighting. After that, New Year's Eve celebration, a very busy time right now for the NYPD. We're live in Bryant Park. I'm Mark Santia. News for New York. We appreciate their hard work as always. Saw the people out there, an estimated 3 million people lined the streets of Manhattan for the parade, and you saw it right here on NBC. Charlie Brown led the festivities from the Upper West Side all the way to Herald Square. Tonight, News 4's John Chandler brings us the sights and sounds. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade rolled down its customary path in its 90th year. Yes, it's old, but somehow it never gets old. It's been great, lots of fun, lots of work, lots of preparation. People line the nearly three mile stretch in the millions, here for a glimpse of their favorite characters. What have you seen so far that you like best? I love the trolls. I love the trolls. My favorite was Pikachu. I really like Gray to one. I really whoa, 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 one at a time, one at a time. It's not just the kids who see this parade as larger than life. Adults look up above for a glimpse of their favorite familiar face. The, the floats, the, the whole thing, the weather's great. This is my 22nd parade. 22nd yes. parade. <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. Tom Turkey is one of the more recognizable faces in this Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade. He's been at it since 1971, but this year's parade features a few new floats. That Trixie dog, because it's brand new in the parade. And you've been waiting to see it? Yeah. And here it comes. Trixie's a lot bigger than you thought it would be, though. Huh? Yeah. Huge. The parade was a huge hit for a Thanksgiving Day crowd that was admittedly pretty easy to please. I like everything. <laughs> he and a few million others. John Chandler, News 4 New York. Looking like a great time out there today. Well, today, President Obama gave his last Thanksgiving address from the White House. Part of his message was about coming together as a nation following the election. Thanksgiving reminds us that no matter our differences, we're still one people, part of something bigger than ourselves. We are communities that move forward together. We're neighbors who look out for one another, especially those among us with the least. We are always simply Americans. And the president went on to emphasize that being American isn't about where you're from or what you look like, but honoring the creed that we are all created equal. And it is all about Turkey and Twitter for President-elect Trump. He took to social media tweeting, I am working hard, even on Thanksgiving, trying to get Carrier AC Company to stay in the U.S., Indiana, making progress we'll know soon. During the campaign, Trump promised to impose a hefty tax on companies that moved to Mexico, a plan Carrier announced earlier this year. Carrier released a statement saying it's working with the incoming administration. Thousands of miles away from home, far from their families, the brave men and women in our military are giving thanks in a foreign land. But as NBC's Lucy Kavanaugh explains, at Camp Swift in Iraq, there was a traditional Thanksgiving feast. Inside this tiny kitchen on a remote base far from home, it's time to chop, stir, and roast. 120 pounds of turkey for 150 hungry mouths. It's a big day at Camp Swift, roughly 50 miles south of Mosul, nearly 6,000 miles from home. It's Private Jordan White's first deployment. It means missing Thanksgiving with the family. Definitely miss my family. Uh, sacrifice so others can be with their families. For Lieutenant Peter Chun from Baltimore, downtime before the big meal meant sprucing up. You know, obviously I can't wait to uh, FaceTime my family back home. Others worked out to work up an appetite. But the business of war doesn't stop for Thanksgiving. We're the front line of defense here on uh, Camp Swift, and we're what everyone relies on. Operation Inherent Resolve is the fight against ISIS. Battle Captain Katrina Fed has been here for eight months. Her 10-year-old back home is counting down the days. He sent me a message this morning and, you know, he said, Happy Thanksgiving, Mom. I love you and I miss you. Can't wait for you to come home. And then he had a hashtag with 48 days on it. <laughs> Hi, Happy Thanksgiving. It's his sixth Thanksgiving away, but that doesn't make it any easier. 500,000, 400,000 brothers and sisters, and then I have my family at home, so I'm in a pretty good spot. You're covered <laughs> yeah. this Thanksgiving. Yeah. In just a few hours, we'll be back to the mission, back to the fight, but I think they might have a little message for folks back home. Guys? Happy Thanksgiving! 
back to you. And we wish them a happy Thanksgiving. Look at this turkey, sweet potatoes, pie, and a selfie with Hillary Clinton made it onto one woman's Thanksgiving shopping list. Brittany Valente ran into the former presidential candidate in Clinton's hometown of Chappaqua last night. Clinton was shopping at the Chappaqua Village Market with her husband, daughter, and grandson at the time. Also, Mrs. Clinton had a surprise of her own today. Take a look at this. Someone planted these signs near her home. The signs read, thank you and other heartwarming messages of support. Clinton tweeted her own thank you message to the mystery sign makers. Stacey, there were a lot of traffic stops in Bridgeport on Thanksgiving Eve, but the drivers didn't do anything wrong. It turns out that the officers pulling them over had a big surprise. I'm here to give you a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, Thank you. I saw the kids. I thought maybe oh, you guys could use it. Yes, we can. <laughs> Yeah, no tickets here. Instead of writing out tickets, they gave free turkeys. Many of the drivers looked worried at first. You know, you see the cop right. car in your rearview mirror, you think something else. But then the, that turned to huge smiles on their faces. The department handing out turkeys to 25 very thankful families. Probably checked their speed and thought, what did I do? <laughs> I was going the speed limit. Nice surprise yeah. for them. We have much more news on this Thanksgiving night, including the lottery ticket you'll want to run out and buy. Also, speaking of shopping, the Black Friday Blitz has begun. Well, we're doing what New Yorkers want to be doing, or at least a lot of them, shopping this Thanksgiving. We're out here looking at the lines, and we'll let you know what they're after. Live next. I was one of those New Yorkers today. It didn't rain on our parade, but will it stay, stay dry for Black Friday? More shopping and the long weekend. I'll have that and whether you'll need to bundle up to go shopping in five minutes. All right, Janice, see you soon. Also coming up, a homicide investigation on Long Island. The mystery centering around this man, Craigslist, and a hammer. We'll be right back. When size matters, check out my Maggie. Comes in 65 inch. 72, 80, or 90. I said 90, Bob. Woo. In tan or chocolate, only $3.99, only at my Bob's Discount Furniture. Today I want to show you some internet videos. Oh, it's gonna get crazy. This is Black Friday. That is insane. I would never do that. At Chevy, you can avoid the chaos and get great deals for longer on the most avoided lineup. I like that. Bam. <laughs> I love it. Then I have to camp out the Chevy dealer two days in advance. Wow. You can never go wrong with the Chevy truck. It's awesome. And you don't have to wait until Black Friday. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Malibu for around $199 a month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Your afternoon lineup is on NBC4. Share the love with Steve Harvey at 2. Have a little fun with Ellen at 3. Then stay tuned for News 4 New York at 4. The NBC4 New York afternoon lineup is brought to you by Lord & Taylor, The Dress Address. It's a new day, the start of something big, because Time Warner Cable is now Spectrum, redefining what a cable company can be, delivering more free HD than ever before, plus thousands of free on-demand titles, just $29.99 a month when you call 844-348-2999. With Spectrum Internet, enjoy the fastest starting speeds, 100 megabits per second. That's enough speed for all your devices. Plus, no data caps and a free modem, just $29.99 a month. And with Spectrum Voice, get reliable, unlimited nationwide calling, plus unlimited calling to Canada, Puerto Rico, and Mexico, all with no added taxes or fees, just $29.99 a month. Call 844-348-2999. With Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice, you get it all, with no contracts and our 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 844-348-2999. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to Spectrum. It's Black Friday, and we're taking the galaxy by storm. The new 2017 Nissan Rogue has arrived, and it's at your local Nissan dealer during the Go Rogue year-end event. Hurry in for Black Friday savings on Rogue and the rest of the Nissan lineup. Take on any galaxy. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, in theaters December 16th. Right now, get a low $179 per month lease on the 2016 Rogue, or lease Pathfinder just $259 per month. My Annie Sofa and Chase. Hand driven nail head trim and Babu Pete exceeding. This sofa comes in 63, 73, 78, or 90. For that really big room. $3.99 each only at My Bob's Discount Furniture.
It's just about 515. So mm -hmm. for some, the turkey dinner may not be over yet, but those Black Friday sales, they have already begun. Plenty of stores are going to be open for you tonight. And some of them will stay that way all the way through tomorrow night. News 4's Erica Byfield is at the Queen Center Mall in Elmhurst, where the doors opened at 5 o'clock on the dot. Erica, how's the Thanksgiving Day turnout there? It's pretty good, I have to say. Well, the doors here opened at 5 o'clock, but the first wave of shoppers, well, they showed up much earlier than that because the first store opened at 3 o'clock. Here's a live look inside this mall. All the shoppers starting to trickle in now that this mall has officially opened at 5 o'clock. There was a very, very long line at J.C. Pennings that stretched around the building. We walked through the crowd and heard a lot of people talking about buying appliances. When the doors opened, just a crush of people moved in. Several shoppers told me that this right here, shopping is their tradition and they were honestly surprised that so many other people showed up. I didn't know that so many people wanted the deals that were there, so I'm glad they came early. Well, the woman that we talked to there told me that she had her daughter and her mother stand in line with her so that she could cook. She tells me that after they finish their shopping today, that is when they're going to go home and eat. As you mentioned, a lot of these stores inside this mall, they will be open throughout the evening. Reporting live inside Queen Center, Erica Byfield, News 4, New York. All right, Erica, thank you very much. Now, beside the malls, there are lots of other stores open right now. Black Friday shoppers can get a head start at Walmart. Kmart and JCPenney's also welcoming customers. The doors will close at both those stores tomorrow night at 10. Most Target stores open up in just about 45 minutes. Now, if you need to get something for the kids, head over to Toys R Us. It's open until 11 o'clock tomorrow. And Macy's is offering deals today through 2 a.m. They will reopen at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Finally, you can go grab those big screen TVs at Best Buy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge to Stacy. That's on my list. <laughs> it's open until 1 a.m. and we'll let the crowds in again tomorrow at 8 a.m. Okay, I got you, Stefan. If your shopping is not your thing, sit back, relax. You want to keep it tuned to NBC4 for action on the gridiron. At 8, it is football night in America. At 8.30, the Steelers take on the Colts. And after the game, stick around for a late edition of News 4 New York. Thanksgiving is winding down, which means it's almost time for another annual tradition, Christmas in Rockefeller Center. Here's a live look at the plaza. Next Wednesday, November 30th, that 94-foot Norway spruce standing tall and proud on the Plaza will shine brightly as the 50,000 lights decorating the tree are turned on. And of course, you can see the tree lighting and the rest of the star studded spectacular right here on NBC4 New York starting at 7 o'clock. I'm so excited about that. Dennis Huff, meteorologist, in with a look at our weather. Beautiful day, and I think the showers arrived in some parts late in the day as predicted. There are some showers out there right now, Stacy and Stefan. Actually, we were watching one of our cameras on Times Square, and the streets and the sidewalks look a little damp now. So, a little light rain moving in over the city and more showers elsewhere, too. We'll show you radar coming up. Uh, tech t a check of temperatures today. We did make it up to near 50 in most locations. Newark and Islip. Central Park was just a couple of degrees off at 48 today. So, with the Despite the clouds, the temperatures were up around 50 as projected, and the rain stayed away for the most of Thanksgiving, especially for the parade. But now we're starting to see some steadier showers building across the area. Uh, most of Black Friday, the big shopping day tomorrow, will be a dry day, and so will the weekend. It's going to be blustery, but the sun will be out. Uh, temperatures right now across Suffolk County from Melville to Northport, upper 40s, 46 in Farmingville right now, and Sayville's at 49 degrees. Uh, just over 50 in uh, Long Branch and Toms River, 45 in Marston. Down. Cool 30s to the north and west over the Catskills, Poconos, parts of the Hudson Valley. Getting some uh, rain showers here it might be mixed with a little bit of sleet uh, from time to time. The temperatures are above freezing, so nothing's freezing upon impact, really. But just watch out for some slick spots in Ulster County because that may happen this evening. Uh, otherwise, uh, some heavier showers moving towards Manhattan right now and Yonkers uh, over Bergen County at this time. But the rain's been so light today. What little rain has fallen has been less than a, a five hundredths of an inch, 0.01 for my White Plains and 0.02 in Poughkeepsie, so not much. And we weren't expecting much from this by the time it got here. Uh, most of those showers will be gone by 10, 11 o'clock tonight. We'll start to see a little bit of clearing into tomorrow morning. There'll still be some clouds around, but we're not anticipating any big rain at all for tomorrow for the shoppers. And from time to time, you may see the sun peek through. Uh, that continues into Saturday. We'll have a bit more sun on Saturday and even more on Sunday. So planning ahead 
for this evening. You're still not done with Thanksgiving. You're getting out. There are some showers out there now, uh, but they'll be gone by midnight in case you're out late. Temperatures in the 40s. For tomorrow, 50s along the Jersey Shore. 56 in Eatontown, mid 50s in Raritan, Wantage 53, 56 in Hoboken tomorrow, uh, mid 50s, Williams uh, Bridge and Mineola and Marine Park at 55. Out across the east end of Long Island, you're in the mid 50s as well in Riverhead and Wallkill with a high of 52 tomorrow. We'll see uh, mainly clouds across the area. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to be talking about tomorrow's weather, the weekend weather, and also um, next week for the tree lighting. That weather, not looking so great. We'll talk about that in the 10 day. Just a few minutes. Back okay. to you. We'll see you in a little bit, Janice. Thank you. We do have some sad news to report this evening. A member of the U.S. military has been killed in Syria. The service member who has not been identified died from wounds suffered in a bombing near the town of Ain Issa in a statement the combined joint task force fighting ISIS in that country offered their condolences, asking Americans to be thankful that there are service members willing to take up the fight to protect our homeland. New tonight, there is a tsunami warning along the central American coast sparked by an earthquake off the coast of El Salvador. The earthquake centered in the ocean about 90 miles from Puerto El Triunfo. There are no reports of damage from the quake. El Salvador's environment minister says coastal communities should be prepared for the threat of six-foot waves along the shore. New at 5, a sad Thanksgiving for one family on Long Island after a fire gutted their home in North Babylon. Firefighters believe it started in the oven, then quickly spread through the house on Deer Lake Drive. No one was hurt, though it's not clear if anyone was even home when the flames broke out. Three firefighters were taken to the hospital with minor injuries after putting out this house fire in Woodhaven, Queens. More than 100 firefighters rushed to the three-story house on 90th Street. The flames ripped through the second and third floor of the home before the flames were put out just before 3 a.m. Investigators now working to figure out how that fire started. Well, up next, how a swipe of your Metro card can take you on a trip decades into the past. Also coming up at 5.30 is prepaid, excuse me, is paid TSA pre-check fare. Many benefit from the service without paying the fee. The reason why some officials say that's a problem. Also, rolling with kindness, the good folks of City Meals on Wheels not only fill stomachs this holiday, they feed souls. What kind of man can't give his family a Christmas? They are happy, that's what matters. He's the one always saying love never fails. Halo. I choose to believe that, baby. Dolly Parton's Christmas of Many Colors, Wednesday on NBC. Wednesday, December 7th, it's the live event of the holiday season. Oh my God, it's a dream of a lifetime. Hairspray Live, Wednesday, December 7th on NBC. My hero, zero. Such a funny little hero. can be a hero. Get zero down, zero deposit, zero do it signing, and zero first month's payment on select Volkswagen models this Black Friday at the Volkswagen Signland Drive event. How wonderful you are. Bassett's Black Friday specials are better than ever. Today and tomorrow, take half off all accent chairs and recliners. Save 30% store-wide and get special financing for 36 months. Plus, more half-off specials for every room in your home. Enjoy Black Friday savings online today and in stores and online Friday. Don't miss your chance to save on style during Black Friday at Bassett. For all you friends giving hosts, invite who you want, not who you must. Serve a turkey. Don't serve a turkey. 
Bring classic flaky crescent rolls or not so classic pizza sticks. And don't forget something sweet and golden brown fresh from the oven. Set the table, set the coffee table, set no table at all. The only rule to follow on Friendsgiving is make it your own. Happy Friendsgiving. Warm up with Pillsbury. Hi, check out the all new Chrysler Pacifica. It's got hands-free sliding doors and lift gate. Stolen go seating. Look at all this room. You can act theater. More screens means never having to share with your sister. Can you let the manager know I'd like a really great deal? He already knows. Great deals all month long at the Chrysler Black Friday event. Right now, current lessees of competitive vehicles get a low mileage lease on the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica for $229 a month. Flames are tearing through parts of Israel this evening, and this may not be an act of nature. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the wildfires threatening the city of Haifa are the work of arsonist terror. He's calling whoever set them to be found and prosecuted. Tens of thousands of people have already been forced out by the flames. Israel has gotten offers of help from Greece, Cyprus, Croatia, Turkey, and Russia. New at 5, a New Jersey police chief is set to retire following a controversial email that got him suspended. Wyckoff Police Chief Benjamin Fox sent an email to his department back in 2014 to target black people in white neighborhoods. Well, the town determined this violated racial profiling laws and suspended him without pay in August. Our partners at the Bergen Record report Fox stepped down last week and will submit retirement papers next month. We have not heard if he will keep his pension or have to forfeit it. We have an update now to a health alert in New Paltz. There are now four new cases of the mumps on the SUNY New Paltz campus. As we told you Monday, there were 20 cases reported at the college and at a nearby high school. Now, a total of 24 cases. Most of those infected are student athletes. It is a blast from the past for bus riders in the city. The MTA once again rolling out some vintage buses. They were in use from the late 1940s to the early 70s right there. Starting December 5th, the buses will run along 42nd Street on the weekdays between 9 and 5. This nostalgia will be visible underground, too. Starting this Sunday, you can ride a 1930s-era train if you're lucky enough to catch it along the M line. Got to find my old tokens to get on board there. Christmas could come early for one lucky person this weekend. The Powerball Jack but now at $403 million. That should help get really anything on your wish list. New Yorkers have been snatching up tickets for Saturday night's drawing, hoping to be the big winner. September was the last time someone won the Powerball jackpot, so don't forget to pick up your ticket if you were feeling lucky this Thanksgiving. I had Good no luck. idea the jackpot was that high again. Yeah, yeah. get everything on, the everything on my list. Go too, your so. car, yeah. There we go. Coming up in our next half hour on News 4 at 5, the hottest tech toys in your state. What you need to grab now before they disappear from store shelves, but first, a deadly encounter. An encounter arranged on the internet ends in the death of a 25-year-old Long Island woman. I'm Paisy Cheng. That story's coming up. This week only, the Jewelry Exchange has titanium bands for 19, 6-carat topaz pendants, 49, 3 stone rings, 99, half-carat studs with jackets, 99, and 2-carat solitaires, 1490. Don't miss these deals. The Jewelry Exchange Hackensack. Hi, I'm Tillman Fertitta, and I own the Golden Nugget Casinos. We're redefining the online gaming experience with Golden Nugget Online Live Dealer. For the very first time in America, you can play online against real dealers, broadcast it live from our casino in Atlantic City. So what are you waiting for? Our live dealers are ready to play with you. It's the real deal. Sign up now, and we'll double your first deposit up to $1,000 at GoldenNuggetCasino.com. The most magical time of the year is also the perfect time to take home a new Honda. KBB.com's best value brand. Hurry in to the Happy Honda Day sales event and discover the Civic, Fit, and HRV. Right now at your Honda dealer. Who can tell me what does this become? Low fly. And what about this? Pomi! Very good. Pomi, 100% premium quality Italian tomatoes. Sustainable, BPA free, and non GMO. Perfection is simple. It's Friday Frenzy, only at Raymore and Flanagan. 
Doorbuster deals start at 8 a.m. Plus, everything's on sale. Save $200 on this reclining chair and storage ottoman. Save $400 on this power reclining sofa. Save 31% on this comfy chenille sofa. Plus, get a free TV or tablet with a purchase of select mattress sets. No interest for 72 months. Doorbuster deals start at 8 a.m. Friday Frenzy. Raymore and Flanagan. This week only, the Jewelry Exchange has three carat anniversary bands for $9.90, one carat studs $3.99, one carat solitaires $5.99, and certified solitaires $17.90. Free setting and no interest for 12 months. Don't miss these deals. The Jewelry Exchange Hackensack. Right now, thousands of New Yorkers are out in the cold. To help, text COAT to 41444. $20 buys a coat for a neighbor in need. Right now on News 4 New York, a deadly encounter. Police arrest this man for the death of a woman that he met on the Internet. Welcome back. The victim was found behind a pizza restaurant on Merrick Road in Baldwin. Today, the suspect, 36-year-old Rafael Oyehi, went before a judge on second-degree murder charges. News 4's Paisy Chang has a story that's new at 5. Several hours after a woman's body was discovered in this Baldwin parking lot, Nassau police arrested this man, Rafael Oyehi. On Tuesday evening, between 6 and 9 p.m., our victim made her way to 20, 2719 Grand Avenue in Baldwin. Police say the victim, a 25-year-old woman that sources say is from the north shore of Long Island, met Oyehi through Craigslist. The encounter was for uh, sex, there was supposed to be compensation for that sex. Uh, there was an argument that ensued, and the subject ultimately hit our victim with a hammer. It was a delivery man who discovered the body. He asked Charles Harris to take a look. Half clothes, like the pants was down to the ankle, I mean the knees, and she had a jacket on, something over her head. I seen blood on her hands. Police say the suspect took the victim from his apartment across this parking lot. Detectives followed the trail of blood and found the victim in this grassy area. This witness saw the body from her balcony. She doesn't want her face on camera, but told us this. I have a daughter myself, and God forbid, you know, I don't know how I could reconcile someone doing something that horrible to her. And just to leave her there, like she was a piece of garbage. Oh, yeah, he pleaded not guilty to second degree murder today. Two people who showed up at court for his arraignment declined to comment. Oh, yeah, he is being held without bail and is due back in court on Monday. In Baldwin, Paisy Chang, News 4, New York. Thank you, Paisy. On to another disturbing story. This one out of Louisville. Gunfire erupts near a football field packed with children. Two people are dead. Another four wounded after a shooting at Shawnee Riverfront Park. The shootings happen yards away from an annual holiday youth football tournament. The mayor of Louisville was there at the time. He is okay. So far, no arrests. The New York State Police are conducting patrols tonight at what could be potential terror targets. They're giving communities a heads up that the patrols will be visible at houses of worship, shopping centers, and at train stations and airports. Police say their best line of defense is you. If you see something suspicious, report it. Troopers will also be out in force this holiday weekend to make sure everyone celebrates in a safe way. Sobriety checkpoints like this one here will be set up all across the state. Along with drunk drivers, police are looking for speeders and distracted drivers on their cell phones. Last year, 19 people were killed in New York State in driving related to accidents over the holiday weekend. Well, as many of you are experiencing today, there's nothing like a good home-cooked meal on Thanksgiving unless it's a meal served with love and respect from City Meals on Wheels. Volunteers were up and at it early this morning, filling stomachs and feeding souls. News Force Tracy Strahan talked with volunteers, both everyday New Yorkers and a movie star. Like any home cook, the preparations for Thanksgiving started early in the kitchen of the Stanley Isaac Center, but this food is hitting the road heading to homebound New Yorkers, thousands of them in need. We go and we take the meals to the different apartments and like my dad carries it, but then I give it to them and it's nice giving it to them because they get to see their reaction. Just seeing her expression and these people who are like, wow, you made our day and just, it makes me choked up. From collard greens to pumpkin pie and everything in between, food has been the focus for City Meals on Wheels since 1981. Their mission? To make sure that elderly, homebound New Yorkers don't go without food or a friendly face. And there's so many of our seniors who would like to be here or be with their family, but they can't. So this provides them with a wonderful meal, not just today, but every day. 
And this year, the group is seeing more of a need than ever. Older people are the fastest growing population in this city. Mm -hmm. By 2030, seniors will outnumber children for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. Last year, we delivered about 21,000. We're doing 900 more meals today than Thanksgiving a year ago. Now this is the nerve center of the Yorkville operation. This kitchen alone will prepare at least 700 meals and dozens of volunteers who wait all year just for this will deliver them. I had this one lovely woman uh, last year who uh, asked me as we were leaving, she said, you know, you have a really nice voice. You should think about acting. I said, I will do that, thank you. <laughs> so I don't think they have any idea, you know, it doesn't make a difference, it's, it's just the, it's the service that matters. And while City Meals on Wheels puts the giving in Thanksgiving, the group says their goal in fighting hunger is a year-round effort. In Yorkville, Tracy Strahan, News 4, New York. A Jersey City grandmother is thankful today for the police officer who saved her life. Officer George Notsopulos was leaving school 33 on Monday when someone told him a woman collapsed in a hallway. She didn't have a pulse, so he gave her CPR and even used a defibrillator. Officer Notsopulos was off duty and at the school for his first graders award ceremony. He says he would not have been in that particular spot at that time if he had not stopped to tell his son to clean his desk. Clean that, your desk. It came in handy, that dirty yes. desk. Still ahead, what is on your holiday wish list this year? Coming up, we will reveal the most coveted tech toy state by state. Also coming up, better get Picaro for Black Friday bargains. Coming up next, we get apped up to help save you some money on one of the busiest shopping days of the year. And Janice Huff is here. Hi, guys. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It was a pretty nice day. The rain held off for the most part. We're seeing showers now. But will they continue for the big shopping this weekend? I'll have the answer in the forecast coming up next. And Kate Snow is in this Thanksgiving with a look at what she is working on for 630. Ahead for us on Nightly News this Thanksgiving, Trump's transition as the president-elect tweets he's working this holiday. New questions emerge about how often he's getting intelligence briefings. Plus, the holiday race is on. Retailers coming up with new ways to get shoppers off their computers and into stores. And the booming trend in medicine, digital house calls expanding into major cities across the country. When we see you back here for NBC Nightly News. The News 4 I team. Police continue the search. Would you stop writing on the street? Four investigates. Plans for a nuclear emergency causing concern. News 4 gets results. More investigations, more answers. Turn to News 4 New York. Today I want to show you some internet videos. Oh, it's going to get crazy. This is Black Friday. That is insane. I would never do that. At Chevy, you can avoid the chaos and get great deals for longer on the most avoided lineup. I like that. Bam. <laughs> I love it. Then I have to camp out the Chevy dealer two days in advance. Wow. You can never go wrong with a Chevy truck. It's awesome. And you don't have to wait until Black Friday. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Equinox for around $189 a month. Visit your local Chevy dealer. Hey, you know what makes my Aries reclining sofa and reclining love seat such an untouchable value? You get one, two, three, four recliners. Both pieces only $9.99. Or power them all up and recline with the touch of a button. Both pieces only $11.99. Only at my Bob's Discount Furniture. This, this is, is untouchable. untouchable. Right, I'm so relaxed right time. now. This you look divine. I never want to leave the house. I don't want to leave. Hey, ladies, what are you doing for lunch? Fios is not cable. We're wired differently. That means incredibly fast 150 meg internet for the holidays. So in the 3.7 seconds it takes Gary Watson to beat the local sled jump record, Fly, Gary. Fly. his friend can download 13 versions of the perfect song. His sister can live stream it, while his mom downloads how to set a dislocated shoulder. Get 150 meg internet, TV, and phone for just $79.99 per month online for the first year. Cable can't offer that. Only Fios can. No matter the dish, you're going to eat it all. Because Goya black beans are whole, plump, and delicious from the first bite to the last. Goya beans, the perfect ingredient for real-life chefs. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Start something special this holiday season with an unforgettable New York sports fan experience. Compliments of Honda. Go to NBCNewYork.com slash contest slash tailgate and you could win four tickets, round trip transportation, and a chance to cheer on the home team. Need help with a consumer problem? Call us, whether in English or Spanish. Every call, every email answered. 
because together we can make a difference. NBC4 and Telemundo 47. Together we're for New York. I'm flying on the first commercial flight from New York City to Cuba Monday. It may not be Black Friday just yet, but those Black Friday deals are already underway. Whether you're headed to do your holiday shopping tonight or tomorrow, better get Becaro for a list of apps to help you get the best deals. Here's consumer reporter Linda Becaro. So many gifts to buy, so little time. That's why many shoppers kick into high gear on Black Friday. I'm going to be shopping all over Fifth Avenue because I'm just a shopaholic. I Google stuff online and see what uh, the good deals are. And usually I get emails giving me a heads up. I don't want to get run over by a bunch of people. So essentially I could click a button and that would be it. To help sort through deals at stores and online, there's an app for that. Chandra Steele is senior features writer for PCMag.com. She says if you're headed to a mall, take the Shop Savvy app with you to compare prices at popular retailers. So you don't have to go from store to store wondering, you know, I just saw it in that last store, it was less money there. Before you step inside, you can know where you're headed and what you'll get. For tech gifts, Chandra recommends the Buy Via app. They know their son might want a laptop, but they are sort of iffy on the features when they look at them. This puts it in very, very plain language that people can understand. It. Some apps even earn you rewards, like Scan Life. In Scan Life, when you use the app and you scan barcodes, the more barcodes you scan in a store and compare prices, you earn gift cards to different stores. And remember to check not just sale prices, but find out if there are any additional discounts. Now Discount has coupon codes on there. So a lot of people when they're shopping, if they don't already, they should check a coupon code. And then there's always Amazon and its app. Say you got to a store and the item is not on the shelf, but you still see the barcode at the bottom. You can make sure that it's on Amazon. You scan it, and you can check it out, put it right in your cart. Chandra says if you use the Google Shopping tool, know that it will only search prices at stores with which it has a business relationship. Now, the apps we mentioned are all free and available for iOS and Android. In the newsroom, Linda Beccaro, News 4 New York. Always good tips, Linda. Thank you. Our consumer investigative team is here to help both in English and Spanish. To reach Linda's team, call 1-866-NEWS-244 or log on to NBCNewYork.com forward slash to get help. Our partner, Telemundo 47, also ready to answer your call in Spanish. Still ahead on News 4 at 5, TSA PreCheck. You know, many of us pay for it, but others are getting it for free. Why that is a huge safety concern for airports. Also ahead, the wildfire battle for Thanksgiving. Homes literally in the line of fire. How close is this blaze to being contained? Taking a look out across the city, many of us feel more stuff than the Thanksgiving turkey, but we are gearing up for the Black Friday rush. So will you need an umbrella while you wait for those stores to open? Janice's forecast is next. And before we take a short break, a special message from a sergeant separated from his family this Thanksgiving, but sending his love to Nassau County. Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant Mills. I, I am in Kuwait here with the 369 Sustainment Brigade. I just want to use this opportunity to um, wish my, my, my wife and my daughter, Krishna, a happy Thanksgiving, also to the rest of the family. I, I pray God's blessing on you, and I uh, hope to see you soon. God bless. Special Financing. Save online today and in stores and online Friday during Black Friday at Bassett. Welcome to OakFurnitureLand.com. We only ever sell 100% solid hardwood with no veneers and straight out of the box ready to go. By cutting out the middlemen, we can sell at half the price of the competitor's particle board equivalent. We also deliver it free to your home. You can now furnish every room in your home. Well, almost every room. OakFurnitureLand.com. Our Thanksgiving sale ends Monday. It's the Hess Toy Truck and Dragster with LED lights, racing sounds, and wheelie poppin' power. Get it now at HessToyTruck.com. Free shipping and Energizer batteries included. Just a click away this year, the Hess Truck's here. Order yours now, only at HessToyTruck.com. It's a new day, the start of something big, because Time Warner Cable is now Spectrum. Redefining what a cable company can be delivering more free HD than ever before. 
plus thousands of free on-demand titles. Just $29.99 a month when you call 844-348-2999. With Spectrum Internet, enjoy the fastest starting speeds, 100 megabits per second. That's enough speed for all your devices. Plus no data caps and a free modem, just $29.99 a month. And with Spectrum Voice, get reliable, unlimited nationwide calling, plus unlimited calling to Canada, Puerto Rico, and Mexico, all with no added taxes or fees. Just $29.99 a month. Call 844-348-2999. With Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice, you get it all, with no contracts and our 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 844-348-2999. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to Spectrum. Ever wished Black Friday deals would last longer than just one day? Good news, your wish is our command. Toyota's Black Friday's sales event is happening now, and for the rest of the month, you can find incredible savings on Toyota's most popular models. Right now, you can lease the all-wheel drive RAV4 for just $189 a month and get $500 Black Friday lease bonus cash during Toyota's Black Friday's sales event. But hurry, this event ends November 30th. Toyota, let's go places. Closed captioning provided by Toyota. No rest for Thanksgiving firefighters in North Carolina. They are battling a blaze near the town of Blowing Rock. That's not far from the scenic Blue Ridge Parkway. The fire is nearly contained, but it's charred more than 900 acres. Fire officials say there are 50 homes in its path. The good news, that area did get a little rain last night. No word on what ignited the flames. Arson is not being ruled out. We've received a little rain in our area here for Thanksgiving. Uh, thankfully, umbrellas are uh, at the ready, standing by. Uh, any, will we need them any further, Janet? Oh, yes, actually. Uh, I noticed uh, from of our from one of our uh, cameras, live cameras, that uh, umbrellas are up in Midtown. It is raining in Midtown now. It's light rain, as we expected. So if you're going out this evening and you can peer out uh, before you leave, you'll notice it may be raining where you are. So just take an umbrella, take some of the rain gear. It stays on the light side, and most of it ends before midnight. We've got decent weather for tomorrow. shoppers. Big shopping day, so the weather should be fine. And the weekend is dry. It does turn windy and rather brisk, though, by Sunday. Right now, it's in the 40s in Dan Danbury and Greenwich, 43 in Stanford, mid 40s in Fairfield. You're getting a bit of light rain across Connecticut right now. But north and west of you, where the temperatures are in the 30s, there's a bit of an icy mix, a little bit of maybe freezing rain, a freezing drizzle up around Monticello, maybe a bit of sleet mixed with the rain. So watch out in those valleys where the cold air may be trapped and you may see a bit of a, a slick roads or icy conditions there. Otherwise, uh, it's all rain and it'll be moving on to the east. Albany's getting snow. That will move east too, and we won't be seeing any of that. As a matter of fact, the temperatures should uh, cool down and things dry out overnight. We're at 44 at 6 a.m. for you getting a head start on the shopping and into the mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. It does dry out, so it's a pretty nice day for shopping on Black Friday. Hope you get your deals there. Saturday, 51 degrees. Uh, we'll see sunshine clearing out a little bit on the breezy side around midday and then strong gusty winds on Sunday will bring in some cooler air. So we're in the mid 40s. We may have wind chills in the 30s, but it's a dry day all around. Moving forward into Monday, uh, a chilly day there as well. Upper 40s will be the high temperatures. We'll have sunshine on Monday with just a few clouds. It's a quiet day. But when we get into the middle of the week, storm system coming up, windy, rainy, unsettled, maybe thunderstorms, very mild. The temperatures mid 50s to around 60 for two to three days. And one of those days, unfortunately, looks like the tree lighting here in Rockefeller Center. So we may see stormy weather on that day. It's several days away still, so we still have time to fine tune the forecast and give you the latest updates as they come in. But in the meantime, enjoy these next several days tomorrow Saturday Sunday the weather looks pretty decent uh, in the 50s and cooling to the 40s on Sunday and then we get the stormy weather for the middle of the week we'll be talking about that of course for the next several days guys back to you okay thank you Janice what is on your holiday tech wish list for Black Friday the website declutter.com has the answers down to the state most states want an Xbox Black Friday deal and folks in Idaho Kentucky Maine Montana and South Dakota they're all searching for the Microsoft console PlayStation 4, not too far behind. It top searches in Nevada, Oregon, Vermont, and West Virginia. But let's get a check of the tri-state. What do we want here in our area? In Connecticut, it's computer deals. New York wants the MacBook Air laptop. New Jersey wants the iPhone 7. Pennsylvania wants video games. And Massachusetts wants an Apple TV. Not bad.
all on the list. Still ahead on News 4 at 5, fairness and safety concerns when it comes to TSA PreCheck. Why are some paying for PreCheck and others going through background check scrutiny while others are not? We investigate. And Natalie Pascarella here with a look at what's coming up new tonight at 6. Hey, Nat. Hey, Stefan and Stacy. Thanks so much. We'll have a live update from Newton, New Jersey, where a water main break has left the entire town without water. So when will it be fixed and how are people saving their Thanksgiving dinners? Plus this. An e-cigarette explodes inside a man's pants pockets. I'm Wale Aliou outside New York Presbyterian with new pictures of the damage, plus what the family is asking for in response. Well, those stories and much more all new tonight when Stefan and I see you at 6 o'clock. Today I want to show you some internet videos. Oh, it's going to get crazy. This is Black Friday. That is insane. I would never do that. At Chevy, you can avoid the chaos and get great deals for longer on the most avoided lineup. I like that. Bam. <laughs> I love it. Then I have to camp out the Chevy dealer two days in advance. Wow. You can never go wrong with a Chevy truck. It's awesome. And you don't have to wait until Black Friday. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Malibu for around $199 a month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. This is what luxury included feels like. Chefs are creating masterpieces. The staff is putting their finishing touches. Bartenders are shaking things up. Butlers are preparing for your arrival. When can we expect you? Sandals, the world's only five-star luxury included resorts. Call 1-800-SANDALS. It's Friday Frenzy, only at Raymore and Flanagan. Doorbuster deals start at 8 a.m. Plus, everything's on sale. Save $200 on this reclining chair and storage ottoman. Save $400 on this power reclining sofa. Save 31% on this comfy chenille sofa. Plus, get a free TV or tablet with a purchase of select mattress sets. No interest for 72 months. Doorbuster deals start at 8 a.m. Friday Frenzy. Raymore and Flanagan. No Black Friday shopping list is complete without Hyundai at the top. Because now, at the Black Friday sales event, you'll find huge limited-time savings. Every Hyundai is Black Friday priced, including the Sonata, Elantra, Tucson, and Santa Fe Sport. And every Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Kick off your Black Friday shopping with the biggest savings of all. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The Black Friday sales event is the reason to buy now. Enjoy great deals like the Santa Fe Sport for $159 a month and the Tucson for $139 a month. But hurry, these Black Friday deals end November 30th. <laughs> Provident Loan Society is America's only not-for-profit pawnbroker. For over 120 years, we've lent cash against gold and diamond jewelry, fine watches and silverware for about half the cost of commercial pawnbrokers. Call us, visit us, or apply for a loan online. <laughs> Provident Loan. If you need a cash loan, we're here to help. Do we really need the subtitles? See. You said you wanted to feel better about your cereal. General Mills Big G Cereals hear you. That's why we say yes to whole grain as our first ingredient. And no way to high fructose corn syrup. In every Honey Nut O, every Lucky Charm Spoonful, and every Cinnamon Toast Crunch Square. You can feel good about General Mills Big G Cereals. What are you doing here? Uh, waiting for Black Friday. Black Friday deals on the most awarded SUV brand are going on all month long. I, mean, I, I, I can shop now, like right now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, you might want to put on some pants. Oh, I use them for kindling. Yeah. Great. Great deals all month long at the Jeep Black Friday event. Current lessees get a low mileage lease on the 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x4 for $229 a month. We know this is one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. Many of you shelled out 85 bucks for the TSA pre-check so you can move through airport screening faster. But there are other passengers who did not, and they are getting the same treatment as you. Is it fair? And more importantly, is it safe? Scott Friedman from our sister station in Dallas takes a look. Well, I've been very lucky. You might call it the pre-check lottery. Checked in and it showed up on my boarding pass. I would say almost every single time it's on my boarding pass. These passengers never joined pre-check. They didn't pay the $85 fee, were never fingerprinted or background checked. So you've never signed up for the program? No, I never did. 
But when they check in at the airport, they find out they can use pre-check for the day. Were you a little surprised to get that? And it's always kind of a nice surprise when you get it. You solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will It surprised be us a bit, too, because last summer the TSA director seemed to tell Congress TSA was no longer allowing random passengers to use pre-check. We discontinued the practice of arbitrarily assigning and randomly assigning people from an unknown population into that expedited population. That was called managed inclusion. Uh, that pushed a lot of people back into the standard screening lanes. What Neffinger meant was TSA stopped doing things like this, using iPads that randomly picked people for pre-check. But quietly, TSA has been using other methods of moving regular passengers into pre-check lanes in an effort to reduce long lines. The way it works now, TSA takes the information you enter when you buy a plane ticket and they run a risk profile looking at things like your previous travel history and how you bought the ticket. People deemed to be lower risk are given pre-check on their boarding pass. But that's not the same comprehensive background check conducted on official pre-check members. And some security experts say letting people use pre-check without complete vetting may not be the best thing. In an ideal world, you would not. If we, if we had the ideal situation here, we would not. Airport security consultant Jeff Price says the concern is pre-check passengers go through metal detectors that only detect metal, not body imagers that also detect explosives. So if you're going to put somebody through a metal detector, which is a lower level of scanning technology than the body imagers are, you need to be able to trust them a little bit more than you would the average member of the public. In a statement, TSA told us giving regular passengers pre-check status is only a temporary approach. Our long-term goal is to have a fully vetted traveling population in the pre-check lanes. We continue to work toward that goal. In the meantime, TSA says it has complete confidence in the current system and that enabling other lower-risk travelers to receive expedited screening on a flight-by-flight -flight basis is in everyone's interest, as it allows TSA to focus more attention on those we have identified as requiring more scrutiny. The agency's making the, the uh, judgment uh, that that's a risk profile that's acceptable. Former assistant TSA administrator Tom Blank says moving some passengers to pre-check may be necessary to reduce long lines, which can also become a target for terrorists. I think it's a balancing kind of a, a kind of a thing, and I don't think you'll find that TSA ever guaranteed that pre-check line for pre-check passengers only. But some pre-check members complain all of those non-members slow down the fast lane because they don't know to leave their shoes on and laptops and liquids in bags in pre-check. All they do is hold up all the people that have experience with it and um, it just messes everything up. A battle over convenience, security, and who belongs in the fast lane. There's sometimes a little bit of resentment going, you know, I paid 80 bucks and went through a big background check and had to take time out of my day to be in this line. And you just got over here for whatever random reason you were chosen. Security always the priority. Thanks for watching us this evening. Stay with us. News 4 at 6 starts now. Now at 6, safe and secure. Hundreds of performers, thousands of police, millions of people. The 90th Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade rings in the holiday season with cheers, smiles, and unprecedented security. Dry Town, the Bergen County borough that lost all its water service just as people were preparing their holiday meals. The first responders now working hard to save their town's Thanksgiving. And Black Friday begins. What's open, what's closing, and where the shoppers are flocking to this year. News 4 at 6 starts right now. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Natalie Pascarella. It's good to be with you tonight. I'm Stephen Holt. Chuck is off this evening. Happy Thanksgiving, and it was a safe one today. Yes, it was. We move now from security to the sights and the sounds of the parade. The spectators, they line the route from the Upper West Side to Herald Square, and this morning they were treated to, you hear it, the marching bands, <laughs> the floats, of course, the giant balloons, the signature of this holiday celebration. News Force John Chandler shares all the fun and excitement. After 90 years, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is still a big deal. For some, really big. Hello up there. How are you doing?